Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a toxic anti-cheat. So let's get started. So insert a local script inside the starter character scripts which is inside the starter player right here. So inside the starter character scripts insert a local script. <coughs> And you can name it as anti cheat if you want to. You can name it to whatever you want to, it does not matter. And yeah, now let's get to coding. We'll do some variables like local player equals game dot players dot local player before we define a, a variable. For, for, for the character we'll do repeat wait actually wait oh oops i meant repeat wait until player dot character local char equals player dot character local hum equals char wait for child Humanoid. <clears throat> Oops. Humanoid. There. So the reason why we added this repeat loop is because we want the character to be loaded until it can start doing stuff and checking stuff. You know. So make sure you add this line right here. So now we'll make a a different type of a variable, which is called a dictionary it's like a table that holds your items or so in this case if we're trying to make a toxic anti-cheat that will randomize the messages that i'll choose one of the messages listed in this dictionary then watch this we'll do local kick kick messages list equals curly brackets <clears throat> and inside this uh table or dic dictionary sorry uh will be the kick messages the me messages that will appear once a cheater gets kicked out for cheating so well, one of the messages can be like, haha, you suck. You can write th the way you want. You don't have to like copy everything I add here. And so, you, all, you can add a comma right here for our next message. The next one will be your trash. <clears throat> and then add a comma always remember that if you're adding items then make sure you keep adding commas except for the last one so say if this uh, message will be your last one then you don't have to add a comma but if this is not your last one if you have another one right here then you make sure you have to add a comma okay so we'll add multiple of these toxic messages like haha you suck your trash get better you suck with your cheats yeah and then another comma right here uh ch we can add also cheaters are not welcome in this game and yeah so we just made a list of these messages that will appear one by one well not one by one i mean they will just so what we'll do is we'll randomize those messages we'll do local random messages this will be the a variable that will randomize these messages and choose on its own which one it wants it's not it wants to it'll just so basically the server will decide which one it'll choose it will just randomly pick a message it wants to use for a cheater getting kicked out so as you know as soon as you get kicked out from the game or 
you, you either got banned or kicked out or you lost your internet co connection and you just lost co connection and the server kicked you out so we'll choose one of the, the messages in this case uh, a player will get kicked out and choose these messages if the player cheated like adding themselves more walk speed or, or adding jump power or flying or no clipping etc so this what we'll do right now so we'll do local random messages equals kicks i mean kick messages list as you can see it says table so it is a table or a d dictionary so keep in mind uh kick messages list uh square brackets math dot dot random one this digit will decide one of the kick messages right here and then we'll write the length of the kick messages so we have uh five items or five messages and this will decide uh so, so when the player gets kicked it automatically decides which one it wants to use for, for, for the kick message randomly like i said and yeah so now we're done with the variables we can now do the whole if statements the whole checking thing if player is actually cheating we'll do hum dot state changed connect function we'll use two arguments or variables that will describe the state that got changed from the old state the previous state to the new state now the reason why we're doing this is because so like i said uh <laughs> sorry so i said that we'll check if a player is running fast jumping high or has infinite health or uh flying no clipping so for the flying and the no cl clipping <clears throat> you need to use the whole state thingy because so the humanoid um has these called states states uh and st these states there are 17 of them and those states are like actions of what the character does it could be so, so, so here i'll show you the the, the the list right here so we'll do enum dot humanoid state type dot and here it shows you a bar right here of the types of states of the humanoid right here <clears throat> and there are all kinds of these states and there are 17 of them like climbing dead falling down flying like i said and there is no clipping which isn't actually called no clipping it's called strapping no physics so keep in mind strapping no physics means no clipping so that's the whole the whole states thingy so we'll do we'll also do a while loop we'll do while true do then add a wait function skip some lines and then do the if statement if hum dot walk speed is more than 16 because 16 is a default walk speed value or hum dot jump power is more than 15 because 50 is the default value for the jump power it's how high you go when you jump or hum dot <sighs> max health is more than 100 and then we'll use the whole state thingy and we'll do or new state equals enum dot humanoid state type dot strapping no physics so this part of the if statement checks whether your new state is no clipping 
So the whole concept of states is so. So whenever a player does something like walking, the state is set, set to walking. And whenever the player starts jumping, then the, the walking state go becomes the old state, and the new state becomes the whole. It 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 becomes the your next state. It becomes jumping, like I said. So so if a player was walking and then starts jumping, the old state is the walking state, and the new state is the jumping. So hope that explains it well. And then we'll do the flying. We'll do or new state equals enum dot humanoid state type dot flying i'm not really sure if this part of the if statement will prevent from players flying because there are all kinds of ways to flying because uh so so there are these methods you can use to fly you can add your so, so there are these objects inside the R R roblox class library and they're called body o objects. So they're like, and these body objects allow you to. So, so, so these body objects are for m movement, like go, go, going up or or down or forward or backward. So basically, they're these these objects for movement and. Whenever a player adds one of these objects to themselves, like the, like one of these body objects is called the body gyro or body velocity, and so these things allow them to fly. They make them f f float. That's the thing. So I'm not sure if this will actually prevent it because there are all kinds of ways to fly, and this isn't the, the only. A way to fly to just set your humanoid state type to flying. You can use those body objects I mentioned, and there are also other ways people can fly. So I don't think this will actually prevent from players to fly, but will still at least prevent from one method being used to fly. And then you write the then keyword and do enter, and then you s simply write player. And use the kick function kick and you write the random messages variable and so now we're done we can actually test this out all right let's do this and see how this will work Okay, so test mode has been loaded. Uh, it's a bit laggy. Uh, there. So now, uh, we can t test this out. We can, we can. So what you you can do in the script to test this out is since we listed five things you're not allowed to do is like adding more walk speed or jump arrow max health, no clipping and one of the methods for flying then you get kicked out so we'll see how this will go uh you can do you can go to the workspace but find your character that has your name right here so since my name is has name bond then it's easier to find right here so this is your character as you can see i selected it and this blue th thingy is up and uh find humanoid and then you find walk speed and you just add a value that is more than 16 like you can write 17 for example and you'll get kicked out as you can see it shows and get better so like i mentioned it chooses one of the messages listed right here and it chooses, and in this case, it shows get better. 
remember it chooses it randomly it's not something or it's it, it's not like it's the server that chooses it it just it randomly does it you know so if we rejoin it may again choose get better however next time after a few more shots of this it will choose either haha you suck you're trash you suck with your cheats cheaters are not allowed uh cheaters are not welcome in this game so yeah it worked so guys i think i can wrap up with this video thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i apologize if i stuttered a bit you know it's because i'm a bit nervous yeah so leave a like on this video so subscribe if, if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys in the next video have yourselves a great day